Welcome back to uh, Marathon Phoenix Commentary. This is episode 9. My name is Ryoko TK. We'll be discussing the levels Pushing Onwards, which is this expository level, and then uh, a secret level, which is four-letter word. I'm mostly actually going to be talking about this level, the expository level. I use it twice in the scenario. It's actually the level for the next chapter as well. And the difference there is that you actually start in a different region, and then you come back to this part of the level. Uh, the secret exit is stemmed out of this level, and uh, it's sort of ingenious, I think, how I hit it. It's, um, tucked, it's a switch you have to shoot, but it's from a very devious angle, and it's blocked by a couple of these vac valves. So you have to sort of know exactly where the switch is, which doesn't seem very fair. Um, if you'll remember in uh, the video for Running From Evil I talked about, uh, the secret's having a tell. And that doesn't really have a tell, it's pretty obscure. Except, when you uh, visit this level again... You start in the room that I'm in right now, and uh, you have to work your way backwards through the level. You hit this, you walk up to the switch and hit it, and it opens the door that goes back to the previous part of the level. And so, getting to the secret exit actually um, sort of hinges on you having already played the game and knowing that the switch is there. Um, and you know the switch is there because I tell you. So it's uh, it's uh, sort of a maybe a backwards approach to hiding a secret. But it's one that I think is, is kind of clever, and it's one that um, it makes you, I don't know, it make, in my book it makes you appreciate a stupid level like that a little bit more. Which is pretty, uh, pretty neat to me, because uh, the whole notion of an expository level, uh, you know, there's, there's room to play with it and make it a little bit interesting for people that want to explore. And so, in doing that, in a way in, like that, making the player be able to explore it and sort of think about it and then sort of come, approach it from a couple different angles to find stuff. Uh, sort of its own reward. And I actually got that habit from um, from Rubicon, uh, Marathon Rubicon, which uses its resonant uh, expository level about 79 times. That might be a slight exaggeration. Um, but every time that you return to the Rosinant, you're at a slightly different area. And uh, as you progress through the game, um, sometimes you get to explore you know, this part of the Rosinant, sometimes you get to explore that part of the Rosinant, and uh, different parts are open to you to explore it. And throughout the course of the game, you slowly get more and more of a complete picture of the ship, which is really cool to me. It's probably the most compelling part of the game, believe it or not, because I don't think Rubicon is really that good on the whole. Um, but it's, it's a cool approach to uh, making a boring level a little more interesting, and I wish that Rubicon did it a little bit more with some of their other levels. Especially uh, near the end of the game, where you get to explore the whole level and uh, really see how it's all put together. This level here is four-letter word. Uh, obviously, it's a secret level, which means that the objective is just to find the rocket launcher. Um, this level has the shortest distance between the start of the level and the exit of the level. You're actually um, you're allowed to leave whenever you want. I mean, I guess that's true of all the secret levels, but the terminal, uh, the terminal, the plot justification for this level is that you have to return to the. Uh, Four ship that you cleared out in the bistro math and uh, help put down a few a few extra four, and you can kind of leave whenever you want. That's pretty much what the terminal says. Um, but of course, if you have a good spirit for exploration, you'll find all the secrets. And um, as is the case with Alexandretta, finding all the secrets exposes the rocket launcher. And that's really the whole point of the secret level. Um, other than that, uh, of course, you can see it's a pretty pretty basic layout, a lot like Alexandretta. It's just a, a small loop uh, w with a few spaces on the side, but uh, there's no sort of combat gimmick like there was in Alexandretta, where uh, that level was all defenders. One thing that you, you may notice by playing through this level is that the combat is much easier when you're fighting against four than when you're fighting the Renegades. Uh, it's only a slightly slower-paced level. 
um, because the four are just not that threatening in comparison. Other than that, not a whole lot about this level uh, that really that really sticks out. It's just a level that sort of exists for its own purpose, which is to have the rocket launcher in it. But um, I, it's still sort of a sort of a neat idea, and it actually brings back the uh, the the Svitker, I guess that's how it's pronounced. Um, the friendly the friendly defenders. You only see them in the plot in one level, and that's a Space Marine is you. You never see them again, even when you're taking over the Bistro Math. Um, in the storyline, the the Svitker are helping you do that, but you you don't fight alongside them, and that's uh, just because they're so strong that they would have trivialized that level. So I elected not to use them. And of course they never fight the renegades. So this level existed to uh, bring them back just one more time and also just to have one more uh, four level because it's definitely the least used tile set in the game. And of course that's because I'm not, you know, as I said before, I'm not very comfortable with this tile set. So this uh, this level didn't exist until the special edition of Phoenix, and it mostly just made it um, to sort of fill in those gaps, rather than having a, an explicit sort of uh, goal in mind, or like a, a better goal in mind, I guess. But the level here is done. Um, when you go to the exit after hitting the four switches and finding the skulls, uh, rather than being teleported out of the level, you get brought to the rocket launcher. You get sort of a, a, a compliment in the terminal saying, hey, good job, you found some stuff, here's a rocket launcher. And the level's pretty much over. So we're going to move on now to um, the next level in the next video. This is Neo New Mordor here, but uh, that's for next time. Thanks for watching.